Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, have another amazing design by Steve Good, and it is designed to help bring in the spooky season. We are now officially into the spooky time of year. People are starting to decorate their yards for the holidays that come at the end of the year. I know the leaves are starting to change, and we're getting a lot of crisper mornings, and that is awesome. As I said, it's designed to bring in the spooky season, and what it is, is a skull design. I love skulls. I love skull theming. It goes with the whole pirate vibe that I have. Really awesome. And here is most of the pattern, and it is attached to half-inch pine. I've already got the patterns printed out and attached with clear packing tape. Really awesome, and it's a skull, and then it has his hands, and then a few support pieces there. And then the back piece is going to have a wall to where it looks like the skull and skeleton is busting out of the wall and if you guys can remember earlier this year I made a pallet wood panel and this is that pallet wood panel I made I've cut it to size and I've left the nail holes in it so hopefully on this side it will really give the look of the skull and the skeleton hands busting through the wall I have already cut out the backer board for the whole project and then the backer board for the skull over on the scroll saw and this is just quarter inch material and we're going to head on outside and spray paint this black in a second so that can be drying while we're doing all the scroll work um, so right now let me just move the camera outside let's get this stuff spray painted black so we can head over to the drill press drill our pilot holes and start scrolling and we're going to begin by coming outside and spray painting the two backer board pieces that I had cut before filming with some basic black spray paint and we're gonna let that dry and head over to the drill press and drill all of our pilot holes with a small drill bit not very many internal cuts on this project but enough to give it some great detail and then we're gonna head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling this is the backer board made out of or the backer piece rather made out of pallet wood really thought it would give the project some great detail I am using number five reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blades and I'm using those blades for the whole cutting process And with cutting pallet wood, I highly encourage you to wear a dust respirator. You can see it there partially up in the corner when I lean over some. Now we're going to cut out the rest of the pieces to skull the support pieces in the two hands. If you guys would like to make this project for Halloween, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog. Just taking my time cutting everything out and letting the blade do the work. And you really have to be careful cutting out the hands. They are fragile with the long fingers and the shape of the skeleton bones but I just took my time with it and was very easy with it cutting it out if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate links to my social medias are in the video description below When we get done cutting this hand out, all of the scroll work will be done and then we can begin gluing everything up after we sand it. But coming around the hand here to finish up scroll work. And we're going to remove the patterns from all of the pieces. and then head over to the other workbench and sand everything with 100 grit sandpaper with the palm sander and I'll do a little bit of touch up sanding off camera with 220 grit sandpaper
and after we get everything sanded nice and smooth I'll bring the two pieces we spray painted into the shop and everything will be ready for assembly and I'm using basic Gorilla wood glue to glue everything together and hold it all in place with spring clamps And after each glue up, I let everything dry around an hour. And then I came back and removed the clamps. And then done the final glue up assembly. And again, let that dry around an hour. And the project was complete. I really had fun making this. And here we have the completed skeleton Halloween piece. I think it turned out amazing. Really awesome. It has a nice 3D effect. And the pallet wood for the back with the old nail holes in it just gives it the added effect that the skeleton is really just coming out of the wall and coming towards you. Really awesome. It took me maybe 20 minutes to cut everything out, 25 minutes or so. But then we had to sand everything, had to wait for paint to dry, had to... Um, glue everything up and then wait for that to dry and finally glue the final parts together. So all in all I've got a good morning's work out here in the workshop. The hands, um, be very careful if you guys decide to make this. The long and narrow skeletal fingers can snap off and break. I was very careful sanding them with the palm sander. All in all I really love it. Steve Good knocked it out of the park with this one and I'm really ready to hang this up and display it proudly somewhere. I don't think I'm going to even add a finish to it because I like the flat look. It gives it a more natural and organic look and I really like that. But I hope you guys like watching me make this. I know I had an amazing time making it. Really awesome. Great way to start the spooky season. I hope you guys like this video. That's about all for this one. And remember, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, stay spooky, and I'll see you guys real soon.